Yeah. Today's the book of June. In the book of Jude, verse 24, and unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, the glory and majesty, your minute and power, both now and ever, so be it. Give me all praises, all honor, all glory to the heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Bahar, Kodash. Double honor to mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. I shall warm to the Akim who avoid the Dara sincere and serious to doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Bahar, Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 or 2, to you all. Yes, yeah, so another week through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai. Right? Prophesying the downfall of this current kingdom that is being run by the Roman Empire, right? The last leg of the Roman Empire, right? Controlled by the Edomites. You understand? This is the last leg, being the toes, in the time of the ten toes. You understand? And the stone is about to come out of his realm. You know what? Let me get um right, let me start here. The stone is about to come out. The line has gone out on this ticket and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. You understand? To take down all these kingdoms man. You understand? And and um and um where that preset goes he should deliver up the kingdom to the heavenly father figure how it goes man so yeah we in that time and the children of, and the children of israel will rise up you understand they have already risen up to the various prophets worldwide you understand chant it down babylon you no know, jamaica's got some chant down babylon well this is really this is the true chant it down of babylon right this is the this is the true channel of Babylon, man. You understand Babylon from the Hebrew word Babel, which means confusion. You got minor attracted persons now, so you got grown adults, right? Attracted to babies or five-year-olds, right? And they wanna have sexual intercourse. You understand? With these little uh, children, you understand? Now here in this island, Barbados, they get ready to give out. They already gave out the the job to children from the ages of five to eleven. You see? So the satanic agenda is up. So the Lord's men, his prophets are gonna they're gonna um, bring out the true word in the more side, condemn this nation, the nation of Edom, this kingdom, right? Heralding in and ushering in the coming of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh will show you Mashiach who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. So there's Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? This is the modern day Babylon. Ancient Babylon is, is still alive and well as we speak. It just said here, how is she become a desolation among the nations? I mean, Revelation 18, right? Uh, uh, Revelation 18, forget the exact precept. But it says that America will become desolate, man. It will not be inhabited by human beings anymore, quote unquote, human beings anymore. It will be inhabited by desert like creatures, man. You understand? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. Well, Babylon and thou was not aware. Yeah, you don't understand. You don't. You don't understand the heavenly Father has you where He wants you. Man. You don't understand that that uh, you are praying right into His hands. Man. You understand? You say that you could make God angry. He ain't gonna do nothing. That man, uh, Harari, forget his name. You don't understand, Skipper, and all of you elites alike, that the Lord has you in slippery places, man. That's what. That's what Psalm 73. That's Psalm 73. Oh. 
Psalm 73 and um uh, 18 Psalm 73 18 Surely thou didst set them in slippery places thou castest them down into destruction you don't understand that big man nation of Edom you don't understand that Heavenly Father controls everything man you see? Everything man, so you are you we, we want you want to play God give that but um um second Thessalonians one I think it is showing himself that he is God Second Thessalonians one and yeah I believe let me see Yeah, go ahead. Second Thessalonians 2, verse 4. Yeah, go ahead. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called the most high. Yeah. Or that is worth it. Yeah. So that he so that he as God sit in the temple of the most high. Yeah. Showing himself that he is God. Yeah, so that what they're doing, right? They want to play God all the different creations they're bringing out. <clears throat> you understand? Know the technology they got. And the point, give me that the point that you have. I think that's Malachi one. Your your point has allowed you to believe that you have become a god. But you are just a man. We read Ezekiel the twenty eighth chapter. You are just a man. You see? I think it's Malachi Malachi one. The point that you have. You see this? Where you get me that here? Then um. The point of the heart has to see this. I want to just keep my mind here, man. Yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Bye bye. Right? Oh, you want to try over there, eh? Right? Yeah, you, 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 you believe, you think that. This Job 4.17 Shall mortal man be more just than the most high? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Yeah, you were created. You eat the mice and all you other nations, man. You were created. You understand? From the dust of the ground. So you you is more powerful than the heavenly father because of your I technology. Huh? Huh? Verse 18, Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels he charged with folly. How much less than how much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. Plain big man. Right? Over there one, verse 4. Wait. The prayer of thy heart has deceived thee, that thou dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high. That said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Right, God, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. You understand? Look at this, look at that speak. Um, then a, then a precept, uh, What's that? Delicate. Uh, yeah, that no, Isaiah 47. No, no, no words. Are... That Isaiah 47, get it? Isaiah 47. You know, that Isaiah 47, man. Isaiah 14, verse 11. Thy pump is brought down to the grave. Yeah, your pride. The Lord is going to bring down your pride, man. He's going to bring down your whole empire. Thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Yeah, so you're, you're getting ready to be uh, devoured, man. You understand? You see? Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? Meaning from your rulership. You understand? Because you're in a rulership position now. O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did is weaken the nations? Right. Lucifer simply means the one that bears the light. You understand? You have weakened the nations how? Through, through, through wars, through poverty, through unrighteous decrees, man. You set up coups in every nation. You understand? You, 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 you set it, you, you're sending your philanthropist, which the philanthropist is one that that um, 
you are an economic hitman, but a philanthropist is the one that is one that comes with money and braves the the, um, the leaders in charge. You know and they sets policies, man. See, you get? Uh, Isaiah 45 right. and verse 1. Calm down and sit in the dust. 47. Huh? 47. Sorry, right. Isaiah 47, right. verse 1. Right. Come down and sit in the dust, for the virgin daughter of Babylon. Right. Sit on the ground. There's no more throne. Sorry, there is no throne, O daughter of Chaldeans. Yeah, go ahead. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. Right? There's no more throne. Meaning what? You'll be in the throne, man. Many, many tackle. You know what I mean? Your days are numbered. You see? Your days are numbered, man. Go ahead. Verse 2. Take the millstone and grind milk. Go ahead. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Yeah. Uncover thy tight, the tight. Pass over the rivers. It's time for you to go into slavery, man. It's time for you to go into slavery. It's time for you to work. Go ahead. Thy nakedness shall uncover thee. Nah, yeah. Again. The nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Right. Yeah. Thy shame shall be seen. Right. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Right. Thy shame shall be seen. You know what I'm doing? When I, when I, when I, when I inoculate the poorest nations with with um with the AIDS. I can speak in code so I won't take it down. When they inoculate the nations with the AIDS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Now when they're coming with the with the with the with the um the uh, C hit C nineteen. Right? When they bring wars, disease, famine, you find that Revelation the sixth chapter, right? That Revelation the sixth chapter. You are the harbinger of death, man. You cannot be satisfied. You see, but hey, the Lord has given us a real education on wickedness, man. You see? Still want to save you. So we got to lower our kite to the extreme. So that we're doing double punishing. <laughs> punishing Jay and then punishing you can punish yourself. Yeah. Can I save a mother already condemned, big man? Okay, already I, I, condemned. Can I say who can um, bring a clean thing up over to our clean. clean thing? Yeah, can't. So I see. <laughs> so that, that I want to show you that pork was our pig was made all clean and the shell, the shellfish and all the things. We're mere on clean from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. So how you can turn around there and be them clean? Yeah. But as Christians, um, you know that's their favorite thing, you know? Just wants to pray over it. It's good, but the Lord never tell you. You know what I mean? Yeah, clean thing out of yeah clean exactly. Thing. Exactly. So Revelation. And there's the words of the Lord. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? They Revelation 6. Revelation 6 and um Revelation 6 and verse and 4. Revelation 6 verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So this man is ruling. Give me that in Genesis 27. And by thy sword shall thou live. That's what you saw. Edom lives, man. He lives by violence. He lives by wickedness. He lives by uh, uh, unrighteous decrees, man. That's how he lives, man. You see? Like Red horse is Esau Edom. All you gotta do is go to the book of Job 9:24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? Come on, okay? Genesis 27 or 40. Yeah, Genesis 27 or 40, yeah. Genesis 26, 27, 27 verse 40. Go ahead. And by thy sword thou shalt live. And by thy sword shalt thou live. Go ahead. And shalt serve thy brother. Yeah. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, thou 
that thou shalt break his yoke from off his thy neck. Right, so the point we get is, but thy sword shall thou live. That's how you live it, man. You cause it violence and death all over the earth, man. So that we read to, um, that we started with Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50 and 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Yeah, so you, you, you are the hammer that destroys, you just go around and just uh, destroying and uh, um, massacring, you mean by get two and one, massacring nations, man, right? Where, where he get that, let me get this, Proverbs 29, Proverbs 29, right? Yeah, it is, Proverbs 29, verse 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked brave rule, the people mourn. The whole earth is in mourning right now, man. So, what's that? Yeah, because uh, money has blinded the minds, man. That's right? Okay? Micah uh, 2. Verse 1. Verse 1. Yeah. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Devise iniquity, go ahead. And work evil upon their beds. Yeah. When mourning is like their father said. Because it is in the power of their hands. Yeah, go ahead. Verse 2. And, and their cover, covered fields. Right. And take them by violence. Yeah, by this form of coup, right? Yeah, go ahead. And houses and take them away. So they oppress their man and his house, even a man and his heritage. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage, man. You walking around, you walking around, claiming you. Yeah? Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? But he could, he ain't want to be himself, but he's a Choctaw Indian, he's a he's a, he's a, he's a Jews. In Revelation 2 and 9, he's a Jews. Huh? Huh? You see everybody else but yourself, man. Huh? Next two verse 9, man. Make up sex from a fire. Make up sex from a fire. Revelation 2 verse 9 I know thy works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan yeah, you're the chief host you're the chief host of Satan man you know what I'm saying you are not the real Jews Atala Yahudi right you are not the real Jews man right so but Isaiah 14 and um uh, Isaiah 14 and 4 that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how have the oppressor ceased yeah man he goes around the earth oppressing everybody and every nation man you see right? killing them of the resources man killing them, killing, them, killing them of life man you understand upsetting the balance man right got everything out of order man right it says, how have the oppressor ceased? Right? How have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Right. Golden city ceased. Right? Because what the Lord has do, the Lord, the Lord has already broken the scepter. He, he's already broken your kingdom, man. You understand? It's only a matter of time. You say, you may feel. You may feel you can accomplish your enterprise, which means to be successful. In fact, let me get that last job. Huh? Mm. Job 20 and um. Job what? I thought it was Job 20. It says. Um, he should not accomplish his enterprise. You know what, man? He should not accomplish his enterprise. That what enterprise means to be successful, right? It, oh, it's Job 5. Job 5, verse 12. He disappointed. The devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise right the word enterprise means to be successful man so you're not going to be successful 
in accomplishing what's on the back of the dollar bill. You understand? No worse orders to plural. You're not going to be successful. Yeah, in accomplishing it, man. Captain Picard. Captain Picard. Oh, okay. Okay. This is Job 20. And let me start at um, 12. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Can't. So wickedness, there's they, all there, Troy one, man. Give me, give me, um, what's that precept? Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's one. Yeah, get that, get that, get that one. That's Psalms, that's Psalms, um, fifty and twenty-one, I believe. Yeah, that's Psalms fifty twenty-one. Psalms fifty-five, fifty-five. Yeah, come. Psalms fifty-five. They got some presets in Psalm three. Um. I got 73. I had it all in here, but. Uh, you want to go ahead? Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, la ba ba Psalms 55, verse 21. Yeah. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Right. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. Go ahead. His words were softer than oil, like a baby boxy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, they were drawn swords. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. See? So his words were softer than oil. Yet were they drawn swords, man. Right? So that way the scripture says never trust thy enemy, man. Right? Never trust thy enemy. Right? So this is um You know what? Spirit we bring. So this is Proverbs 23 and verse 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. Yeah. So don't partake in this man's system to the fullest where you can go and take that karagma, man. Because he has an evil eye towards you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Let me read that again. Psalm, Proverbs 23 and verse 6. Eat, no, eat thou not the bread. Bread can be referred to as money. Again, get that bread. You understand this slime talk? Right? Eat not the bread. Eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye. Neither desire though his dainty meat. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, save he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. So when I want to trust this man, you know what I mean? Uh, um, and his ways, his image, right? Thinking that it can be better, but really he has, um, he has what? Um, his heart is not with thee, right? He's not for your, he's not there for your benefit, man. He's, he's really uh, using subtlety, right? Maybe read the book of Genesis. He's really using subtlety to get you on his control, man. Let me get that quick. Get Genesis 3. Genesis 3, verse 1. Now the serpent, he saw Edom, right? Was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord power had made, right? So, he saw Edom, he's the he's, he's, he's most, he's most devilish of the all. The rest of 17 nations, he's he on top, man. He on top. You know what I'm saying? He on top, man. You see? He's the one that can lead you astray, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we, that we did with Eve, man. You see? So this is back in Job 20 and 12. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat in his bowels is turned. It is the gall of ox within him. Yes, it's poisonous, man. It's poisonous. It's poisonous, man. He saw eating his beer, um, the before ox, man. Ox, ASP. Ox. It's supposed to be one there in, um, it's supposed to be one there in, um, um Yeah, I got me there. What is it? Poison. 
Huh? Your point is, is the poison Your of point. dragons. Wait, 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 wait. Do the one, bro? 32, the That's only hit. Their wine is the poison of dragons. Jesus, please, man. Do the one, 32, 33. You gotta go up. That's it, brother. But start at 32. Start at 32, man. Start at 32. Do the one, 32. Yeah. Verse 32. 32. Go ahead. For, for their vine is the vine of Sodom. Wait a minute. A vine is be part of a tree, right? Yeah. You know the same tree that was in the garden, lost it on touch, right? Good. So the vine is of the vine of Sodom. Go ahead. And of the fields of Gomorrah. So what I'm telling you, that would be modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, big man. Because the same behavior. And again, worse because you got some called minor attractive person, big man. You got grown, grown the dust, being attracted to little children, brother. I talking about like, for the no, the no born to like five, six, seven, you know, big man. They hate what chopping off, brother. They won't get in the asylum, but maybe bring up this world the flag in the videos or oh, uh, malicious content. But yet, you sending laws and legislation. You got teachers that believe in that, that's good. Might not attract their person, man. Go ahead. Their grapes are grapes of God. Jesus, peace, man. Go their ahead. Cluster are, their clusters are bitter. Their clusters are bitter. They ain't good for you, man. They ain't good for you. Go ahead. Their wine is the poisonous. It's a poison. Their their wing is the poison of dragons Wait. and the poor venom of us. Poor venom of us, big man. Remember the scripture says in Revelation, uh, um, they are drunken with the, the nation of drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. So their wine is poisonous, man. I, mean, you, I told you to give me something good to drink. They say it's killing me. You see? When they drink it, it's it, it taught to no good, but when they hit the belly, man, they say it's killing me. They say it's not good. It's in a good big man. I gotta get rid of this here. It's coming for you because you, what you doing? You, 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 you trying my life behind, man. That would be nation's man, no big man. See? Um, verse 34 Is not this laid up in store with me and seed up among my treasures? Yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, peace, man. Hey, it's, it's going to. You gotta read verse 35, brother. Yeah, it's a lot here. Which means sorry, brother. Verse 35. Yeah, but yeah, brother, you're gone. Yeah, you gotta know how to think, brother. You can't. Yeah, you gotta know how to think, brother. You can't. Just everything on paper, you sign, he sign, person sign. Right, I'm done with that. Right? Like, 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 right? Like, 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 right? Like, like, this is guys here, conversation me, I left up there with some people, right? I rent a room from you. You can't tell me who is my friend, that my friend cannot come to me. He, he probably, he probably is this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three rooms, he occupied one. It's like a community kitchen that everybody uses. You know what I'm saying? So you can't wait there as I don't say, man, a man got a friend here. Yeah. All you can do is, if the person that the, that the, the body comes to is not there, he can tell them, listen, Mr. X or Mr. Y came here. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be worried for them all, all going to come another day. So, uh, so the body, you said the three rooms in his house? Huh? They drove these three rooms in his house? He have three rooms in his house. In his house? In the house of the occupied one. Oh. So, by all costs, the body, you don't agree with God, come in the house, but he is. So, that particular thing. Not yeah. necessarily going to come yeah. in the house. It's a simple thing. But if Kenneth got right, yes. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Body, but the French have got common sense too. If you only mind, you tell La La Lord over there. Right. Uh, I, oh, yes. Come on, Paul. Yes. You try to get with that. Like, yes. Because you, if, what we know can cause a problem when we go there. Right. Yes, the tenant got right. He can bring you. you. He can bring you one way. But it's in, in still, it's still a. In Mexico, going there to cause a problem. Cause they has has gone boy. I didn't say it happened. I said it happened. happen. Stay far. I hear what you say, right? Right. They tell the the Although he just got a disagree with the person, uh -huh. he dealing with business. 
and he should be begging now. It's the sweet pass that they that the F a friend of the persons come there by their invitation. They didn't very much that he can do. Once but they come in up like they behave in the seven. Right, right, that's right. Right. Things they were saying. But don't really blur it. But he's saying he now, but I'm glad that you mentioned that. He's saying now, my he will get anybody know that. Yeah, you will get rid of the body, but you might have to end up going to pay some, pay some money because you don't like somebody. That you got, you got thing some, you some rate, just put things in paper. Right. Sign, he sign. Right. I gotta go. Well, Verse 35. Don't do nothing. Man, in short, the man tell himself that I put a huge one. I tell you, it's only your enemies, God, uh, that is put, that is put you wrong. To the, the, the wrong yeah, territory, too. Verse 35. Yeah, to me belong vengeance. Right. And recompense. Right. Their foot shall slay in due time. Right. For the day of their calamity is at hand. Right, go ahead. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. Right, God. So what they say, their foot shall slide in due time. Now you, so when slip this fall. Right, you're talking about. Now